have my trusty little mug here. I have my strainer. I don't want to get none of the sea moss in here or any of the cascara sabrata in here. So I'm going to pour this in the strainer so that I don't uh, get any of this stuff in here. So let me handle that real quick. Cause I get on my sweater. Yeah. So I'm going to strain this because I just don't want to get any of this in here. I just want a pure liquid and call it a day. So what you see in this hand right here, now the smell of the sea moss, it just makes me think of Honduras. It's completely different than any sea moss that you will ever get. It's more than eight ounces, so oops. Yeah, this is more than eight ounces. This is more like 12, but. I guess we just gonna have to do this. So this is her. I'm gonna tell you from personal experience, Prepare yourself for the better, okay? How I perfect <laughs> black cake about birth I ain't ready for this. <laughs> but how I prepare myself for better is if I get a lime. So when I'm done, I can go right back in with the lime and that's that. Um, I pour too much, I'm just gonna pour a little bit of this out because I'm not here for it today. I'm not here for the shit today. I know literally, like this is gonna make you go to the bathroom. That's eight ounces. Put her back where she belong. Really, I should be drinking 16 ounces because I doubled up, but I'll drink that one later. All right, so this is this. The Honduran sea moss. Man, look, y'all got a copy. Yeah, it's so bitter. It's not really bitter because I doubled up on it, but that aftertaste is like, it. Surprisingly, the sea moss makes it better. <laughs> so I don't know how that's even possible. So I kind of like the cascara sagrada with the sea moss, man. This is more of a watered down version because I did two things, so I'm gonna have to do another eight ounces. I need to drink 16 ounces, y'all. But I'll get it down, and trust me, if you get it down, your stomach will thank you later, your skin will thank you later. I know how I look. I know how my skin looked when I came back from Honduras. So, just trust me on this one. The raw sea moss and the cascara sagrada together are going to help you so much. Again, I'm not a doctor. Do not take any of this as medical advice. I'm just telling you from experience, okay? Like, I was a hundred, and this was like most of the things that I had, including the herbs, you know what I'm saying? So I had like a cellular package, but, and I can already feel the, like, the gas releasing as I'm drinking it. And as you go, lime's good too, so. This is a great thing to have first thing in the morning. I'm gonna drink this down. I ain't gonna let I ain't gonna let y'all watch this to death, but that would be Flor de Manita. My first time trying it. I am new to that. I'm not true to that. Next glass. I'm gonna go ahead and pull her over here. Now, mind you, I need to add more water to it, uh, but. I'm gonna take it a little bit more um, unstrained so you guys can, you know, get a little idea. Let me whisk this off because it still has a little sea moss in it. I'm nervous, man. I ain't never had this one, so. It does know what this little Mexican flower tastes like. I'm just gonna do a taste test on this one. I'm not gonna really drink the syrup right now. I'm just trying to give you guys a, It's weird. Maybe it's because I just had the line. I don't know. Dag on lime ruined it for me. Hold on. You know, I got a good palate, y'all, but I got lime one and I can't get. I can't tell y'all. It's 
so far it tastes like dirt. <laughs> now it's not that bad though. It's very earthy. I think that's the word for this one. It's very earthy, but it is palatable. It's not bad. You should be good. <laughs> so um, yeah, I've basically given y'all like a breakdown of all of them now. Of course, I mixed the sea moss so you didn't get the, get the experience of that separately, but I have experienced it in Honduras. It's the same sea moss. Um, to me, based off of other sea mosses I have tried, I'm really trying to think like what makes this one stand out because it does. Give me a second, y'all. The Honduran sea moss to me, it has more body. I think that's the word. It has more body. So as you're smelling it, it's almost like the alpha male of sea mosses. I don't know. It's kind of like once it goes down your throat, you know that's like the man. <laughs> Another one just kind of like a little different. I don't know. It's it's very dominant. <laughs> Uh, that's the best way I can describe it. I hate that. I hate that that's the only way I can describe it, but that's like the only thing that I can really say when it comes to sea moss. The raw sea moss to me is the alpha male of sea mosses. You can have the other ones. I'm cool with them. I, honestly, it's real. I still don't know the difference. I'm still working on that. I'm a woman that's learning just like you guys, but. The Honduran sea moss is it. I'm trying to tell y'all. So this video is really long. I will probably break it up into two parts. So please bear with me. I might break it up to three. So um, I hope I got, gave you guys some value. Um, I hope that you guys um, definitely support the movement. And if you want to get cleansed on a cellular level, get it all. You know what I'm saying? If you have some other things going on, contact him directly. I will leave all the information at the bottom in the link below or my description below i really really hope you guys got some value i'm just going to tell you the reason why i do these youtube videos is because you know i've been on this journey for such a long time and i just want to be able to give you as much knowledge as i can i will never um, i am not dr Sadie. i just think he's like the guru of it all but I've had some experiences. So if I can help you guys, that's what I'm here for. So thank you so much for taking the time out to watch my video. If you have any questions, please let me know. And thank you again.